<laughs> what, 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 what? Oh, hi kids! Do you want to learn how to create cool things for Minecraft? Paint your skin and give Minecraft animals a new look, perhaps? Well, in this video, I will introduce you to Blockbench. It's the 3D software that we design stuff with. Blockbench is absolutely free to use and you can use it in a web browser. Do you know what's really cool about that? You guessed it! Blockbench can be used on your phones and tablets too. If your parents are worried, I can guarantee you that it's absolutely safe to use. Do you know why? Well, Mojang actually uses Blockbench to design new mobs for the game. Pretty cool, huh? Now, let's see if we can find Blockbench on the internet. Speaking about finding things, I actually have a friend here I thought I'd introduce. Can you come over here, Cursor? So, here we have my Cursor, my trusty friend, who will help us find things in the interface. Here, for example, the Cursor has found the search bar, which we're going to click on next. Here we will type web.blockbench.net. See? And if you're lucky, it should appear just like this, and we can click on it to get to blockbench.net. Welcome! We are now inside of Blockbench. Usually though, there is a very big image here at the top showcasing something cool that others have made with Blockbench. So, let's create something! Alright. Oh, uh, Cursor, I just realized we can create a lot of things in Blockbench. Where do we start? Oh, you think we should start by showcasing some tools? Sure! So, in this video, we will open up a generic project up here to look at some of the basic tools in Blockbench and how to design something with them. I will click on Generic Project and then go down to Create New Model. If you don't know what you want to call your model just yet, don't worry about this box. We can fill this in later. Just click Confirm for now. So, um, how do we get started? All the way over here, we can click to create a new cube. This little icon just above cursor. And a cube is what we build everything with. You can put cubes inside of folders. Here we have one of those. You see that the folder is called Bone, and the cube is called Cube. If I click and drag the cube, you'll see that I get a highlight just next to the bone. If I drop now, I will move the cube into the bone. But we will return to that with an animation video later. If I click on my cube that I've created, and I go up to here, I have some cool tools that I can use to change what the cube looks like. With the Move tool, I can move the cube to somewhere by clicking on one of these arrows and dragging back and forth, like that. I can also drag up and down, like this. Cursor, could you right-click for a second? Thank you! So now when Cursor is right-clicking and holding, and we drag with the mouse, we actually move all of what you can see on screen. Everything inside of this area is a 3D world. If we want to rotate the 3D world, we click somewhere where there isn't a cube and hold down with left click. Cursor, hold down left click and let us drag for a second. So there we go. Now we can drag up and down. And as you see, when I drag up and down, I look at the bottom and at the top. And when I drag left to right, I look at the sides of my cube. If I want to know what side of the cube is forward, I can scroll in with the scroll wheel and look for this N right here. To move, remember that you hold right click and drag. To rotate, remember that you hold left click and drag. Simple as that. Now, let's go back to the tools again. After move tool, we have the scale tool. When we click on one of these little cubes and pull up or down, or to the side, it will increase the size of our little cube over here. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Then we also have the Rotate tool over here. With the Rotate tool, I can rotate my cube. I click here and I drag. Here we go. I click here on the red one and drag. Here we go. Or I click here on the green one and drag. There we go. As you notice, when I do this, the cube moves back to where it was before. That is because I used the undo command. If you want to undo what you just did, you can go up here to edit and you'll see that we have an undo and a redo here. If you're on a computer, you'll notice that you can use Ctrl C or Ctrl Y to do the same thing. Shortcuts on your keyboard 
So, let's undo that rotation that I just did. There we go! Now we are back to scratch again. And now when we have explored the basics of block bench, left click to drag and rotate around the view, right click to move up and down or side to side in the view, and some of the basic movement tools, how to create a cube and how to create a bone. Making your own model might seem daunting at first, but don't worry, we will get to there in due time. I suggest you play around with some of these tools and try to make more than one cube and put something together. Now I'm going to increase the size of my cube and add a texture to it so we can talk about how to paint them in the next video. So up here I'm going to select the scale tool, pull a bit here and here and here as well. Now I'm going to make sure that this cube over here is highlighted. You see that we have a grey box around it. Then I'm going to go all the way over my head here to create texture. Click on this image right here. Would you look at that cursor? What is this window? Here we can choose to set the name to our texture. Below here we can choose how many pixels this texture will have. It is not true that it would be 16 pixels. The 16 is actually referencing how many pixels a Minecraft cube is in total height and in total width. Yes, that may sound a bit advanced, so we will return to that in the future. I am only going to create a new texture and click Confirm. Did you notice how the cube got some new colors? Did you also notice we got a window up here with some different colors in it? And we will come back to textures in the next video. Not with this cube though, because we are going to change the texture of a Minecraft cow. I hope you are as excited as I am to continue learning Blockbench. You seem very creative, and I think you will learn Blockbench in no time. And in the next video, we will make a cow look like a cow. Bye-bye. See ya.